Welcome to this first video in the internet series. So let's begin by asking, what is the internet? Well, I'm going to try to make it as not technical as possible. However, I do have to use a few technical words, so I'll go over, over those as we go through this. So the internet is a very large group of computers and devices around the world that are connected to each other and share data. So we have these millions and millions of devices and computers, maybe even billions, around the world that are all connected to each other sharing data. And that's basically what the internet is. Everything you see and do on the internet is a device or computer giving that information to you. So to go on, servers are powerful computers that host information or data. Examples would be websites or email. So most websites or email hosts are servers. They're just really powerful computers. And networks are groups of servers, computers, or devices that are connected together. So a network might be a few computers connected together. It could be a couple of computers in your home. It could be a couple thousand computers in an area. But either way, they're connected together. So here's a little bit of confusion that we need to clear up. The web versus the internet. You hear the term the web and you hear the term the internet and they're actually a little bit different. They're kind of the same thing but not exactly. So the internet is a very large group of computer networks as we had just mentioned. So you can think the internet more of the physical being. So you got all these computers all over the world and they're all connected together. The web or World Wide Web is a method of accessing data over the internet. It's the communication method of the internet or over the internet. So kind of think the internet is the large physical system and the web is the method used to gain the information from the internet. And real quickly, just a very run-down, watered-down version of how the Internet works. It's a very complex structure, but the concept is fairly simple. So I'm not going to get into all the details of how it knows how to do this and how it knows how to do that. That's just way too confusing. We're not going to worry about that. So to start, the first thing you need to know are computers are assigned an IP address. And an IP address is kind of like a telephone number. So each computer, technically it's not exactly every computer, but for the sake of this, each computer has its own IP address or phone number. So when you ask for a website, your computer talks to a DNS server, which a DNS server tells your computer, you know, okay, I want to go to this website.com, the DNS server says, well, it's got this phone number. This is its IP address. So from there, your computer will learn what the IP address of the computer it wants to get to is, and it'll start talking to it. So it's really a lot more complicated than that, but just to make it simple, that's the general gist of how it works. So your computers have a phone number, basically. They talk to a directory, which is the DNS server, to find out what the phone number they need is. And then they call that phone number. That's the general idea. idea. So remember, the phone number is actually an IP address. And the directory would be the DNS server. And I hope this helps. Remember, you can re-watch this video if you need to. But that was just a quick rundown, watered-down version of the Internet and what it is and how it works.